Today I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the screen of a HP Pavilion laptop, model number 15Z-N100. To do this you're going to need a small Phillips head screwdriver and also something to pry open the uh, laptop casing. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the battery. Uh, the next step is going to be to remove these screw covers that are located here and also one right here. You should be able to get them off with your thumbnail, no problem. Uh, you can also use a flathead to get them off as well. They're basically just little stickers so they should come off pretty easy. Just to show you that there is a screw under there and there is the little sticker that was on top of it. Uh, you're going to do the same thing with the other side and then you're going to unscrew both of those screws. Now that you have both of those screws uh, taken out, you should be able to pry it, pry it off pretty easy. Uh, the way you do that is you get a tool, something flat, a credit card should work pretty well. And you could start right here, it's fine, and just start prying it gently open. Uh, another thing to note is there is an adhesive on the back of this. And uh, so it may take a little bit of force to get it open, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, you're just going to do this all around the, uh, the screen cover. It should come off pretty easy. Just tilt that back, and then it should lift right out. And there you go. That's how you take off the screen cover. The next thing you're going to want to do is remove these four screws that are holding the... Uh, screen in place. Um, there's two on the bottom, two on top, and once you remove those, the screen should slide right out. Alright, and just to recap, there should only have been four screws. There's one right there, one right there, one down here, and one down here that you removed. Uh, don't worry about these other ones that are on the side here. Um, those are not the ones that you want to take out. So just gently lay it down on your keyboard is probably the best thing to do. And here's the cable that's connecting the screen to the computer. Uh, it comes out pretty easy, but you do want to be gentle with it. Um, there's a sticker that's holding it in place. Uh, what I do is I just lift up the sticker and gently pull out the cable. So I lifted up the sticker here, and I'm going to pull the cable out. Okay, cable's out now. Now I'm going to remove the screen and uh, start replacing it with the other one. So here's my new screen. I'm going to just lay it face down on the keyboard. That'll make it connecting it to the uh, cable much easier. Okay, so the new screen is now laying face down on my keyboard. Um, you can see this cable here is going to be hooked in there pretty soon. So what you do is you just gently slide it in. It should go in pretty easy. You shouldn't have to force it. All right, I have it hooked back up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that sticker down 
and then start fitting the uh, screen back into place so I can screw it in. You should still have four screws that hold the uh, screen in and they will go right, let me point that out real quick, right here, right here, here, oh I'm sorry, here, and right there. Alright, the uh, screws are in place, uh, the screen is pretty pretty uh, stabilized there. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the plastic casing back on top of the screen. Alright, the next thing that you're going to want to do is put the screws back in the bottom here, which there should be two. There's one right there and one right there, and you should be able to get them in no problem. Alright, so I got everything back in place, except those damn stickers, because apparently I just lost them. Um, but, eh, they're okay, they're pretty cheap anyway. Um, Alright, what's left now is let me turn it on and see if it all worked.